come back? I don't know. What's up everyone and welcome to a long 4th of July weekend here in our lawn. So it is Wednesday uh, the 1st. I have now through the weekend off and it's time to get a couple projects done. So I need to mow this morning. Uh, it's pretty early because it's going to be a million degrees today and I don't want to cut when it's a thousand. Um, two, I wanna, I'm due for uh, disease prevention. Uh, I need to get uh, bifenthrin down and I want to try to get dethatch and maybe some other uh, soil amendment type applications down. I don't know what I'm due for. I got to look at my, my plan and my tracking of, of what's going down. But first, I have made an exciting discovery. Let's go take a look. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for any amount of time, you will know that I have never been able to identify what this grass is back here. And you can see what that all looks like and then what down here looks like. Pretty sizable difference. And just because it doesn't perform very well because it looks awful all the time, I've always assumed it's been some weed grass, something uh, ridiculous. And then I watched uh, Budget Lawn's recent video on Bermuda and bent grass and he flashed a clip of overgrown bent grass on the screen and I went, oh, that's what I have. And so if you know anything about uh, my channel, if you've been following along, I have two shortcut uh, areas where I'm experimenting on seeing if I can manage those um, because I want to eventually, back there, put um, like a putting green in a practice facility. And that putting green, the intent would be to make it bent grass. So I already have it here. Um, so if we could go through a couple of the characteristics that this patch of turf back here shares with bent grass, it does not like to be mowed tall, and if it is mowed tall, it gets laid over and matted down. Check. It does not do well in the heat of the summer and in drought. Check. It's very susceptible to disease, and you have to be really careful about that. Check. So hey, I already have the reel. Bent grass loves being mown short. Um, I'm doing these experiments. I might as well experiment on the grass type that I plan to manage. So I need to get the whole yard cut, then I'm gonna get the uh, rotary out, bring that down a little bit, try to rake some of it up so we can get it cut down. And then I'm gonna take the reel over it just right away at an inch and a quarter where it's set right now. Um, I'll probably abandon ship on this side, cutting that short, just let that grow back up because it really wasn't doing very well. Um, I am gonna keep the, the side over there as that's just a cool season blend and I can keep kind of managing uh, non-bent grass short and just get a feel for how well I can do that. Lots to do today. Not today, lots to do this weekend. And I'm just excited and let's get into it. I'm not gonna film the mow the whole yard, but I am gonna film my process back here of bringing down a section of that uh, shorter. So I'll get to the mow, report back to you, and then we'll just uh, cut that bit down. Also, what's exciting, I forgot, you can also spray out uh, bent grass with tenacity so I can get it out of the rest of my yard where I don't want it and it looks terrible. And while we're on the subject of tenacity, let's come out front here and give a little update on the uh, status of things you shouldn't do, but I did anyway. So let's take a look at uh, the young turf that I sprayed tenacity on because I wanted to get uh, a pretty bad weed problem in there to at least slow down from taking over. And so let's see what we got. The actual turf is looking okay, but there are some signs of damage. You can see that guy right there is bleached. Uh, we got some frosted tips in the turf grass throughout, but it's holding up okay, and it does not seem to be whiting off at the same rate as some of the weeds are. Where well, you can see that is bleaching out pretty good. That's starting to bleach out. And over here, if we come, this section through here, there's actually quite a bit of bleaching in the, the grass blades. Uh, but you can see all of the, the weeds are looking fairly sad and uh, pretty vibrant. So I think that's gonna work and most of it is going to survive. Um, again, I kinda like the opportunity of trying an experiment and seeing what happened, um, and that's what we're doing. Worst case scenario, I'm out a month and $20 worth of grass seed and I just gotta seed it again. So if I have to do that, I have to do that. I'm not all that worried about it, uh, but I think it's gonna make it and, and hopefully help out the weed issue in there.
What do you guys think? Huh? Do you think this will recover? Yes. Think so? Think. Well, I appreciate your confidence. <laughs> There's some green in there. I know. <laughs> That's what we have. Yes. We'll just keep you posted as it hopefully comes back. How just absurdly good does that look, eh? Holy cow. A little better lighting here in the evening to be able to see where we're starting. That's the lowest setting on a Honda, which I think is like an inch. So we'll try to, I mean, by the time this recovers and it'll be mowed, the real mower will be at an inch and we'll keep it there for a while and then we'll try to bring it down to a half and maintain it there. And if it does come back and we can maintain it, then it's time to grab a greens mower because Real mower won't go low enough, so we're gonna have to do that. Little update on the seed behind me. So today I gave it the second shot of the 10, 10, 10 at 10, about 10 pounds per 1,000. So we're putting another pound of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus down on there. Um, and also you can see we're really starting to bleach the weeds in there and the grass is remaining pretty healthy. So I cannot really say often enough, the label literally says not to do what I did here. And you can see why. So this is Kentucky bluegrass, healthy, what we want to keep, and there's some bleaching in there. So the turf is being damaged by the tenacity a little bit, but that was a risk I was willing to take because look at how effective, oh, little fireworks, look at how effective it is in bleaching out the weeds. And again, I'm not looking to eliminate all the weed activity in here entirely, but it was starting to get out of hand and just wanted to at least suppress it a little bit so that we could let the grass continue to grow in and fight through um, all this weed pressure. So, so far to this point, we're getting the results we hoped for. And you can see actually today, I drove the, the big lawnmower over there as well. And I was a little worried that I was gonna get some major rutting, but apparently all the dirt settled itself down pretty well because uh, it held up okay. And uh, so soon enough, that is going to continue all the way to the end of the sight line there. And I just can't, I cannot wait. This stuff is going to come back with a vengeance. Look at just overnight. There's, it almost looks like I seeded. There's new growth in there. Little grass blades. A duggo. Yeah, this is coming back. We're going to be able to keep this short. And maybe it's already time to invest in the greens mower to get ready. Yo, look at the size of that guy. The color isn't great, but I'm super pumped with how well this is coming along for just a mix of old, cool season grass. It's currently cut at an inch and a quarter. And just like that, we've transitioned to the lowest height setting on the wheels of this great states. Uh, we're going to cut one more time tonight at an inch and a quarter, so I do have to set it up as, okay, hold on, as you can see right there, it's at an inch. Right there, it's at an inch. There we go. There you can see it. There, it's at an inch. So that means we gotta raise these guys back here up just a little bit. Cut it an inch and a quarter on the sides, and then I'm gonna actually bring it back down to an inch. Because I'm gonna start cutting the putting green. Put the putting green uh, in the back at an inch, and then tomorrow is the side yards transition down to an inch. So we've gone from the three and a half that it was being cut at before on the side yards to two inches, which is the tallest that this great states will go, uh, to one and three quarters, one and a half, one and a quarter, which tonight's the last cut at one and a quarter, and then we go to an inch tomorrow. So that's it. I did about half of the things that I said I was gonna do this weekend. Um, had family come down, just had a bunch of stuff that needed to get done. Needed to put some Ikea dressers together so that took up a bunch of time it's just been so hot that there's really not much that can be done as you can see I'm profusely sweating right now here as I've just finished up the Sunday night mow on my side yards and then also got the putting green cut at an inch um, and then yeah this will go to an inch after or tomorrow uh, but we can take a quick look at how it's all looking and then I'm gonna send you off this 4th of July weekend, hitting some shots from the side yard back to where we have the green and see how I do. So this side is definitely the best. It's really starting to fill in. 
It's still looking a little brown, but again, it's been really, really hot, really, really dry. And this is only its, what, fourth? Will be the start of its fourth week being cut this short, so it's, I wouldn't expect it to look much better than this. And in fact, this is looking way better than I thought it would be. You can see the height difference is really starting to come in here. The difference between where we're cutting over here versus the tall stuff, which that I'm probably not gonna mow for who knows when. Maybe Tuesday, if we get some rain, I'll cut them. Uh, but with it being as hot as it is and as dry as it is, I don't wanna stress it out, so I'm just gonna let it let it be. And then back here, it's, it's, there's some green that's coming in. It, it looks healthier in person than it does on the camera here, but a little bit more green flashing in there compared to the day that we scalped it. What do you guys think we're gonna do? We got five balls. I'm gonna say I get none on the green. I'm gonna hit at least one off of this gutter here, but let's see. That one was close. We gotta come in. Oh. Short. That one's very short. I did in fact go for five, but I did get them all on in two. Small victories. So there you go, it's time to go inside, do a little editing, um, and get a couple of these videos out to you guys to watch. So thank you so much for watching to this point. Click the like button if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along with this putting green or any other program we're running in the lawn. We'll see you next time.